Hi, this is Rockin' Robin. Today, in this episode, we're doing the top 10 best things to do in Jupiter, Florida. We are going to start our top 10 best things to do in Jupiter, Florida with number 10. Number 10 is Loggerhead Marine Life Center. Now this center is all about rehabilitating sea turtles. Everywhere you look, whether it's on the walls or in tanks, you're going to find something dealing with sea turtles. There are various different tanks. Each tank may have one turtle or two turtles. They are turtles that have been rescued that were sick or injured. Each turtle gets special care and they nurse them back to where they can be released. It's a fun place to go and to take some photographs. Uh, you will, if you like turtles, I recommend it. You'll also see them have an area where you can take some pictures with some turtles. Uh, maybe not real, but they're turtles. And you'll see them take care of injured turtles. So that is number 10. Number 9 on our bush. list. Wildlife Sanctuary. Now there is no cost to get in, but it's nice to give a donation and they do accept those. Now this is also kind of a refuge for animals. They find not just turtles, but they find all kinds of different animals and they take care of them if they're around Florida. There can be birds and there could be alligators. It doesn't matter. People call them up and say, we have an injured animal, can you help us? And people can walk around. This is great for kids because you see every kind of animal that could be. Look at that bobcat. It's a fun thing to do. It's a different kind of zoo if you want to put it that way. So Wildlife Sanctuary is something you want to attend. It is number nine on our list of best things to do in Jupiter. Well, we're moving quite along. Let's go to number eight. Number eight on our list is the Maltz Jupiter Theater. Now, presently, the theater is under construction, so I wasn't able to take any videos showing how beautiful it is. So I'm gonna have to show you some beautiful videos of how it used to look before it was repaired. And it's probably gonna look even better. This is the outside of the building. And we're gonna show you a quick inside view of the building. There you go. Now people always say there's not a bad seat in the house for this one. They have a lot of great popular shows. Starting in their next season, they're gonna start with Jersey Boys. So if you are in Jupiter and you want to see a great show, go to the Maltz Jupiter Theater. That is number eight on our list. Time to hit number seven. And number seven can be confusing because it's two parks. It's Dubois Park because it's on one side and it's also Jupiter Beach Park. Now the reason I put these as a single listing is because they are by this bridge. One is on one side of the bridge, one is on the other side of the bridge. They do have separate entrances, but they are both beautiful. Now this is Dubois Park. They have a building you can go in, they have snorkeling, they have a beach area where there's a lot of kids. Pets are allowed but not on the beach. It's very fun, you're gonna find a lot of different people here. There are a lot of kids and children in the beach area, so I recommend you go on the ocean side. The water quality is better there as well. the lighthouse from here and you can see how many people are on this side of the beach where the water comes in this is from the inlet so this is part of the jupiter inlet very very pretty people can make a little uh cookout there's some grills there you can have a lot of fun and when the tide is high snorkeling is fantastic in the area you'll see plenty of boats it's very pretty you even have a great sunset so those are the two areas that are number seven. Now, number six on our list is something I'm gonna guarantee you're gonna wanna do in Jupiter, and that is eat. Now, this is Jupiter Harbor 1000 North. This is partly owned by Michael Jordan, and it is a very ritzy place. 
if you get a hamburg and fries during happy hour it is twenty dollars at the bar and that is one of their cheapest things they have on the menu so that's kind of a cool thing now guanabanas is a tiki restaurant it's all in tiki's and outside people can paddle boat and all be on the river and be having lots of fun you'll love it you can sit on these chairs on the outside sometimes they have a little band in there it has very good food i really enjoy eating there it is definitely one of the places in jupiter that you're going to want to eat but it's not the only place there are a lot of good places to eat in jupiter and most of them are not only fun they're usually on the water and you can see the boats go by this is schooners that is across the street from guanabana this is the entrance to the square grouper which is a fun place to go this is utiki now utiki is pretty much across from the lighthouse so it's very very nice and you can take a boat ride ten dollars ten minutes if you want there is also the lucky shuck i've never been there but that looks interesting and woods jupiter now woods jupiter is owned by tiger woods and occasionally you may see tiger woods in there sitting and having dinner so those are some fun places there's also tommy bahamas which is right near the woods which is a great place to eat and if you want breakfast jupiter donut and factory is a great one now you can see they have some donuts they have that maple bacon donut that i like very much but they didn't have it on the day that i was there i'm going to show you the cool variety of donuts the place the thing with this place is when they run out of donuts they close one o'clock or earlier now we are going to the next item on the list and that would be number five which is downtown abacoa you can shop you can dine, you can do so many things. Look at all the stuff they have in Abacoa. It's become one of Jupiter's hot spots. You can see all the little restaurants and different things on the side when you're driving by. It is a fun place. Over here on the right, you can see it is also the home of Florida Atlantic University, FAU. Can you imagine going to college here? I would love it. If I was going back to college, this would be my number one choice right across the street is where you'll see some of the restaurants now people will gather at these restaurants there's also some other things to do here there's an escape room all kinds of fun stuff people will gather here on weekends and go shopping and eat you can see the parking is right there it's a lot of fun once a month on the green they'll hold a special event where they have a band they have food trucks you will see kids playing ball playing frisbee you can bring a blanket or a chair it's a lot of fun and parking is sometimes difficult that's the only problem with there you do have to walk quite a ways but abacoa is becoming one of the prime areas that you can go to when you are in jupiter now there is the stage this is where they have there are events and lots of parking around it, but there's still parking, so go early. It's in the evening. You never know what's going to be there. They will have a schedule if you go to their website, and it's just a fun, fun place. And I recommend that if you go to Jupiter, you check out Abacoa because the people that live around there, there's lots of little places. They're a very cool crowd and a lot of young families very fun place to go so that is number five so number four on our list is jupiter inlet museum and lighthouse there is an admission cost but you can go into the museum and you can climb the lighthouse it is quite a climb so you better have your walking shoes on and you got to make it all the way up and down now when you first come in they have some relics some interesting things there's a park there so you can go to the park as well if you like they you do different events there and there's some cool things to look at it's not just the lighthouse although the lighthouse is the main attraction you can see all the different things they have at the park and you'll 
occasionally see people playing, different events being held there from children. Lots of fun for everyone, but what you're most interested in is the museum. Here's a look at the museum, the Jupiter Inlet Museum, and what it looks like. It's a pretty good size. It's definitely not just a one-room schoolhouse. So then after you go in the museum, then they will take you up to the lighthouse. The lighthouse is absolutely beautiful. At least it is from afar. Here you can see the lighthouse from the parking lot. It may not look that tall, but believe me, it is very tall. I have a friend who went up it, and boy, she said it was very exhausting. I have not had the chance to try it, even though it looks beautiful. And it's even pretty, you can see it from various areas around uh, Jupiter, and the, it's, when it's sunset, it's just a beautiful scene. So if you have a chance, go see the Jupiter Lighthouse. We are at number three. Can you believe it? Well, number three on our list is Blowing Rocks Preserve. This preserve is run by the Nature Conservancy. Now what happens is you go out and it's a beach, just like any other beach, but it is so beautiful because the water just rushes up the rocks and it's a thrill each time when the water's high. You wanna go there, you wanna take plenty of photographs because you're gonna absolutely love this. This park has the largest amount of Anastasia limestone in the country. Absolutely beautiful. So make sure you add Glowing Rocks Preserve to your list of must-do things in Jupiter, Florida. Well, now we go. And we are at number two. Can you believe it? Well, the number two thing to do in Florida are the beaches. We are talking in particular Juno Beach and Carlin Beach. This is Juno Beach, and they always seem to call it the Dog Beach because there are miles of beach and dogs are allowed. They can go in the water, they can just walk around with your owner. Of course, bring a nice dog that's not gonna attack other dogs, but it's a great place. Now, it, it's a little drive, and I wanted to show you kind of the drive. The park from here is on the left side, and there's parking on the left side. There's also some on the right side in different areas. It depends on where you are. There is also a little pier that you can walk out and you can see the water on all the sides. You see they do some parasailing here, some kiting, they do some surfing, they do all kinds of things in the water here because it's just absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful ones I would say on the Treasure Coast is definitely Juno Beach. And I'm gonna give you a look a little bit more at the beach because why would you go to Jupiter or anywhere on the Florida coast and not go on the beach? So see how beautiful it is. Now this one is Carlin Beach. This one, dogs are not allowed on the beach, but it's a nice park and you can have dogs in the park if you wish. A little baseball stadium where the kids play and other different activities as part of the park. Time for number one, and number one would be Roger Dean Stadium. It is the spring training home to the Miami Marlins and the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, if you come during spring training, make sure you go to an event here. Although the stadium is not as large as a major league stadium, it's still a pretty good size and it still gives you that feeling. It's fun to watch teams play in spring training and see who the players are and how they do. Now this is in Abacoa, 
see that abacoa there's a lot going on in that area so you gotta look at anything in abacoa but it was a lot of fun this was during a yankees game when the yankees played the cardinals and it was uh, definitely a fun experience to be at this roger dean stadium <laughs> They do have a store where you can buy some souvenirs or some gear. It's all up to you, but that's just part of the experience. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the outside. Now, when you're driving through Abacoa, you'll see some fences, and it's there. It's getting closer. And here it is. This is Rogers Dean Stadium from the outside there are several different entrances and again parking could be far away but it's a great place to see a game uh, if you can't get to a major league game and you are in jupiter the number one thing to do is definitely go to roger dean stadium you will not be disappointed So this is Rockin' Robin and those were our 10 best things to do in Jupiter, Florida. I hope you enjoyed them. Please come back for more. We have a lot of different videos on Florida.